Welcome to the How to Write a Book podcast, the show that helps you plan, write, and publish your book, even if you're a beginner or just feel like one. Now, for your host, she's written over a dozen books and helps others bring their books to life. Here she is, Maciel. Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the How to Write a Book podcast. I'm your host, Maciel, and I am so glad to welcome you on board. Um, Just a quick recap. If you are barely joining us, we are doing the NaNoWriMo special, which is something that I've done last year where I give daily tips during the month of November in order to accompany you during National Novel Writing Month. Now, in case you don't know much about National Novel Writing Month or NaNoWriMo, it is a time of year when just everyone all over the world can meet together online and write their novel. The goal is simply to write 50,000 words and it is an awesome, great place to be. Um, It is exactly how I started writing, uh, finishing my novel. So it is a, a game changer to say the least. All right. So today we are on day number five and the toxic thought that we're tackling today for your writer mind is what if at the end, it's just all kinds of mess? Oh, I totally know how you feel. So my first uh, novel, my first completed novel, or at least the draft of the novel, which I dictated, uh, it was, oh my gosh. So it was all over the place. There were character names. There were words that I didn't understand. There were chunks of text I didn't understand. It was a crazy mess. But, um, and the conclusion actually of that, of that novel was that I didn't go back to it, actually. I was like, so like, oh my gosh, I can't even look at it. I never went back. But that wasn't a bad thing, in my opinion, because I then had the confidence to know, wow, I wrote 50,000 words. I wrote over 50,000 words for the first time in my life. And this was like seven years ago or something like that. And I took that and I was like, wow, okay, okay, cool. So I did something really awesome. Um, and of course it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it, but now I know I can do that. What's next? So that is something to keep in mind. If you're feeling like, oh my gosh, what if I write this and it's just all kinds of mess? Okay. So there's one of two options here, or there's three options, but, but so the first option is, okay, if it's a mess, you can edit it. Totally. Second option is it's a mess and you can simply take it as a learning step like I did. Or third, you cannot try at all. Y'all, no, we, we're not going to not try, right? You deserve to like have the story out there. So that third option, no, heck no, right? Kick that in the the, the shin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stumble over my words there, but kick it in the shin and say, get it out of here. No way. So that third option, don't even listen to that option. It's going to be one of two options for you. I'm giving you permission to be like, it's gonna be one of two options for you. So either it's going to be all kinds of mess and you're going to fix it later. And that's totally okay because lots of writers go through multiple drafts. Like even there was a really cool session um, on uh, nanorimo.org and their YouTube channel. And um, one of the authors in there was talking about how he does 25, 26 versions of a draft. So just because you need to tackle it a couple more times doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. So keep that in mind, or you can do it the way that I initially did it, which was you write it and you get the confidence to know that you did it in 50,000 uh, words. You did 50,000 words in 30 days. And that is a good enough stepping stone to move forward to your next novel, which will have perhaps more organization and a lot more clarity. Uh, but either way, either of those steps is none of them is wrong or better than the other. You can tackle both. All right, y'all. So that is the reason why you should tackle this thought. And what is your action item? Your action item here is to write a note to yourself. Say, you know what? If it's all kinds of mess, I still promise to myself to show up every day and write. Yeah. So write that down, put on a sticky note, put on your phone, be like, despite it being a mess, I will still show up to write. So do that. And then you know those words that you put on a sentence? Add that to your word count. Heck yes, because you wrote, all right? And sometimes I can freaking do that. Sometimes I will write down like all kinds of like uh, nonfiction or blog posts, and then I'll think, oh, I forgot to write today. And it's like, no, wait, wait hold on. We did. We did. All right, y'all. That is your NaNoWriMo Day 5. Um, if you need more information on NaNoWriMo, go to www.nanowrimo.org. And if you need some writing help, get your three free writer's toolkits at www.blackheartedstudios.com or themuscet.com, as you'll find out at the end 
recap show thing um and also if you have any questions you can feel free to email me at masiel at blackcardedstudios.com that's m-a-s-s-i-e-l at blackcardedstudios.com y'all have a beautiful day it's thursday or almost the weekend and i look forward to seeing you on the other side hey there writer thank you for listening to the how to write a book podcast with your host masiel valenzuela if you like the show we'd be happy if you left a review for more information on writing and the writer's life, go to www.themasiel.com. That's www.themasiel.com. We'll see you on the other side.